Welcome, I'm Tony Darling and this is the Weekly Bleed, your source for hard-hitting comic book news, from creator walk-ups to character deaths. <laughs> to start off, Josh Fialkov is leaving Green Lantern. Fialkov! Now, the reason for that is because they were going to kill off Jon Stewart. Now, being one of the few black superheroes available to our comic book audiences these days, there was quite a bit of uproar. Now, because of the uproar, DC decided not to kill him off, and he is going to live to fight another day. But that doesn't really change Fialkov's decision. Um, but don't let that ruffle your feathers. You can still see lots of his work in Alpha, The Ultimates, and The Doublers. Also, this might be a chance for him to come back to working on The Last of the Greats, an image production that you should probably check out. Now, if you're watching this and you know that I'm Tony Darling, then some of you may very well know that one of my passions in geekery is apocalypticism. I do really love me some religious studies. Now, this is a little bit of science fiction meets religious studies equals amazing nerdgasm. So I'm going to get a little academic on you. So, if you don't know who L. Ron Hubbard is, you should Google that because this whole thing will make so much more sense. Moving on, the Church of Scientology is going to be publishing Battlefield Earth. Now, working on this are Joe Pruitt, Mike Perkins, and Laura Villari. Why do we care? We care, well, I care, because I'm just wondering, you know, I've seen lots of Christian writers at different conventions, um, and, you know, different Christian comics and different wares, but I'm hoping, I'm wondering, I'm, in fact, just, just praying that this happens, truly, you know, and we are talking about Scientology, huh? um, that maybe Tom Cruise, a little John Travolta action at Comic-Con, now how freaking cool would that be? Also, what if Tom Cruise decides to pick this up and make it a movie? I mean, who doesn't want a little more Tom Cruise? I'm looking forward to Oblivion, by the way. I think that's coming out soon. Moving on. Okay, guys, as we know, every dog has his day, and Grant Morrison has announced that Robin is not coming back. I know, Batman Incorporated in a break was tragic, it was rough particularly if you didn't get one of the first printings, because you're probably out of luck. Um, but moving on, something that I thought was a little bit interesting in uh, issue 9 is that the sword that was used to slay the Boy Wonder is actually a relic from one of Wayne family's like first ancestors. I don't really know what that's all about, I don't know what it means, but it'll probably be something interesting and so I wanted to bring it to your attention. Another really interesting thing, I think, or possibly embarrassing for DC, is that apparently Grant Morrison is only supposed to be on until issue 12, right? But then the hardcover being released goes up until 13, so that could mean one of many things. Uh, it could mean that it's just a typo, and Grant Morrison is staying on until 13, we just didn't know about it. Or it might mean that uh, perhaps we we're gonna have like a one-shot wonder. Maybe somebody's gonna come in and write that last issue and it's gonna be epic and amazing, and that's of course what we're all hoping for. So I guess we'll just have to wait. So, something's got me as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs because I did not actually remember to put this in my, uh, you know, full box. Um, East of West, written by John Hickman and Nick Dragota, published by Image, um, is not going to be available for order. All the retailers, they can't order it anymore. So if you didn't get it, then you didn't get it, and you're like me, and you're just, I don't know, you're just unlucky, I guess, or really forgetful. Um, yeah, kind of a bummer. So. My suggestion to you, this is my plan, you can capitalize on it if you'd like, is to bake a batch of cookies, bring it down to your local comic book shop, and bake. So, some exciting news for Avengers fans like myself. There's going to be a little Captain America Thor action going on in the new hardcover coming out called Avengers Endless Wartime. It's going to be featuring the talent of Mark Ellis and Mike McGone. Now, why do we care? We care because we might get to find out a little bit more about Captain America's past. Um, and the cool thing about this is that the evil that is about to ensue in the hardcover actually might be wearing the American flag. Not sure what that symbolizes, but I'm excited for it. I'm ready to read it. Another really interesting thing about this hardcover is that it's going to have an afterword by Stan Lee, and of course we are all looking forward to that. All right, well that's all for this week, my little bleeders. Until next time, this is Tony Darling with BleedingCool.com.